Bye. two may know each other. Aren't you that girl that exploded? Uh, yeah. <laughs> My name's Ruby. <laughs> but you can just call me Crater. Uh, actually, you can just call me Ruby. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. Help me. So, what's your name? <sighs> Blake. Well, Blake, I'm Yang, Ruby's older sister. I like your bow. Thanks. It goes great with your... Pajamas! Right. Uh, <laughs> nice night, don't you think? Yes, it's lovely. Almost as lovely as this book. That I will continue to read. As soon as you leave. Yeah, this girl's a lost cause. Jeez, you two couldn't hit the broad side of a... B you... <laughs> You monster! What? You want some too? Could have taken him. Think this is it? Chess pieces? Some of them are missing. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. Well, I guess we should pick one. Hmm. How about a cute little pony? Sure. That wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very difficult to find. Jean? Some girl's in trouble! Blake, did you hear that? Let's go. What is it? Nothing. Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. The four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Ruby. All right! Weiss, Blake, Yang, and their fearless leader, Ruby, have begun their first mission. Banzai! It's because they're a bunch of liars, thieves, and murderers! Well, maybe we were just tired of being pushed around! I... I... Wait! Wait! Come back! Thanks anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. What you doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Oh, 
do that. Ice flower. Just got this thing clean. You what? We want you to go to the dance. That's ridiculous. Blake, we're worried about you. This investigation is starting to mess with your head. You can't sleep, you hardly eat, and to be honest, your grades have been suffering. You think I care about grades? People's lives are at stake. We know, and we're all still trying to figure out what Torchwick is up to. Thanks to you and Sun, we know they're operating somewhere outside of Southeast Vale. And the Schnee Company record singled out Vale as the primary target for dust robberies over the last few months. Don't forget about their missing military tech, too. But there are still unanswered questions. Blake, you won't be able to find anything if you can't even keep your eyes open. All we're asking is that you take it easy for one day. It will be fun! Yang and I will make sure of it. Yeah, we're planning the whole event. Excuse me? Team Coffee's away mission lasted longer than expected. So Weiss and I were asked to pick up where they left off. And now we can make sure you have the perfect night. And once it's all over, we'll return to our search, rested and ready. So, what do you think? I think this is a colossal waste of time. I'll be in the library. <sighs> Great. She can't keep going like this. So, have you picked out a dress yet? What's the point? Who cares about the dance if Blake isn't going? Oh, don't worry. She's going. Well, uh, what does Blake think of all this? She's still being all, you know, Blakey. Obviously. I still can't think of a way to change her mind. Guys, trust me. Blake will be at the dance tomorrow. talk. Yeah! Yang, if you're going to tell me to stop, you may as well just save your breath. I don't want you to stop. I want you to slow down. We don't have the luxury to slow down. It's not a luxury. It's a necessity. The necessity is stopping Torchwick. And we're going to. But first you have to sit down and listen to what I have to say. Fine. Ruby and I grew up in Patch an island just off the coast of Vale. Our parents were huntsmen. Our dad taught at Signal, and our mom would take on missions around the kingdom. Her name was Summer Rose, and she was like, super mom. Baker of cookies and slayer of giant monsters. And then, one day she left for a mission and never came back. It was tough. Ruby was really torn up, but I think she was still too young to really get what was going on, you know? And my dad just kind of shut down. It wasn't long before I learned why. Summer wasn't the first love he'd lost. She was the second. The first was my mom. He wouldn't tell me everything, but I learned that the two of them had been on a team together with Summer and Crow, and that she'd left me with him just after I was born. No one had seen her since. Why did she leave you? <sighs> that question. Why? I didn't know the answer, but I was determined to find out. It was all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, one day, I found something. What I thought was a clue that could lead me to answers. Or maybe even my mother. I waited for Dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, and headed out. 
I must have walked for hours. I had cuts and bruises, was totally exhausted, but I wasn't gonna let anything stop me. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them. Those burning red eyes. There we were, a toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help. We might as well have been served on a silver platter. But as luck would have it, our uncle showed up just in time. My stubbornness should have gotten us killed that night. Yang, I'm sorry that happened to you, and I understand what you're trying to tell me, but this is different. I'm not a child, and this isn't just a search for answers. I can't just- I told you, I'm not telling you to stop. I haven't. To this day, I still want to know what happened to my mother and why she left me, but I will never let that search control me. We're going to find the answers we're looking for, Blake. But if we destroy ourselves in the process, then what good are we? You don't understand. I'm the only one who can do this. No, you don't understand. If Roman Torch had walked through that door, what would you do? I'd fight him. You'd lose. I can't stop him. You can't even stop me. I'm not asking you to stop. Just please, get some rest. Not just for you, but for the people you care about. And if you feel like coming out tomorrow, I'll save you a dance. Stupid, dumb neck trap. I knew you'd look better in a tie. So, does this mean we're going together? Technically, though my first dance is spoken for. fought for what I thought was right. I had a partner named Adam. More of a mentor, actually. He always assured me that what we were doing would make the world a better place. But of course, his idea of a perfect future turned out to be not perfect for everyone. I joined the Academy because I knew huntsmen and huntresses were regarded as the most noble warriors in the world. Always fighting for good. But I never really thought past that. When I leave the academy, what will I, how can I undo so many years of hate? I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're not one to back down from a challenge, Blake. But I am. I do it all the time. When you learned I was a faunus, I didn't know what to do, so I ran. When I realized my oldest partner had become a monster, I ran. Even my semblance. I was born with the ability to leave behind a shadow of myself an empty copy that takes the hit while I run away. At least you two have something that drives you. I've just kind of always gone with the flow, you know? And that's fine. I mean, that's who I am. But how long can I really do that for? I want to be a huntress, not really because I want to be a hero, but because I want the adventure. I want a life where I won't know what tomorrow will bring, and that'll be a good thing. Being a huntress just happens to line up with that. Next 
time. There's not going to be a next time, Blondie. <laughs> My word! Cut the cameras! My leg! My leg! That's what you get, you little... Huh? Yang Xiao Long, stand down! What? Why? Why'd she do that? Why'd she attack me? I'm sorry, but you've left us with no choice. But he attacked me! Video footage and millions of viewers say otherwise. But Yang would never do that! Yeah! You all seem like good students. And the staff here at Beacon are fully aware that you would never lash out the way you did, under normal circumstances. What I believe, and hope this to be, is nothing more than the result of stress and adrenaline. When you're out on the battlefield, your judgment can become clouded in an instant. Sometimes you see things that simply aren't there. Even after the fight has passed. But I wasn't- That's enough! The sad truth is, whether it was an accident or an assault, it doesn't matter. The world saw you attack an innocent student. They've already drawn their own conclusions. And it's my job to inform you that you're disqualified. You guys believe me, right? Duh! You're hot-headed, but not ruthless. Blake? I want to believe you. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Blake? How can you say something like that? Never lie to us. I had someone very dear to me change. It wasn't in an instant, it was gradual. Little choices that began to pile up. He told me not to worry. At first they were accidents, then it was self-defense. Before long, even I began to think he was right. This is all just very familiar. But you're not him. And you've never done anything like this before. So I want to trust you. I will trust you. But first, I need you to look me in the eyes and tell me that he attacked you. I need you to promise me that you regret having to do what you did. I saw him attack me, so I attacked back. Okay, thank you. I think I'm gonna rest up. We'll get out of your hair. I don't believe this. Yang, are you okay? I'm fine, is Ruby with you? She's not answering her scroll. No, she isn't. Yang, I'm sure she's fine. She's our leader. She can take care of herself. Right. This can't be happening. Penny. I'm heading to the docks near the courtyard. The Whitefire are releasing Grim into the school. 
The White Fang is here. Yay! I gotta go. Be careful. Blake, what are we going to do? We're going to the docks, and we're doing our job. Darling, running away again? Is that what you've become, my love? A coward? Why are you doing this? You and I were going to change the world, remember? We were destined to light the fires of revolution. Ugh. Consider this the spark. Not running. You will. But not before you've suffered for your betrayal, my love. You're okay. Have you heard from Ruby? What about Blake? She went after an alpha. And some members of the White Fang. You look for Ruby. I'll meet up with Blake. This could have been our day! Can't you see that? I never wanted this! I wanted equality! I wanted peace! What you want is impossible! <laughs> but I understand. Because all I want is you, Blake. And as I set out upon this world and deliver the justice mankind so greatly deserves, I will make it my mission to destroy everything you love. Blake! Where are you? Starting with her. be okay. It's all gone. The school, Penny, Pira, and... Yang, where are Weiss and Blake? Weiss's father came for her. What? What do you mean? 
No one outside of Vale knows what happened here. Before the tower fell, the last thing people saw was Atlas attacking innocent people and Grim destroying the city. Everyone's scared. No one knows who to trust. So Weiss's father came to take her back to Atlas, where he thinks it's safe. She's gone. What about- And Blake ran! Sun saw her go. After we got to the city, she just... ran. But why? I don't know. And I don't care. There has to be a reason she- No, there doesn't. Sometimes bad things just happen, Ruby. So what do we do now? You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna lie here. Yang! Just leave me alone. I love you. I will focus all of my power to snuff it out. How does it feel, knowing that all of your time and effort has been for nothing? That your guardians have failed you? That everything you've built will be torn down before your very eyes? Your faith in mankind was not misplaced. When banded together, unified by a common enemy, they are a noticeable threat. But divide them, place doubt into their minds, and any semblance of power they once had will wash away. Why is that? Well, not many people travel by boat on their own. It can be quite a lonely voyage. But I've found those that do tend to have the more interesting stories. Maybe it's just better for some people to be alone. <gasps> <laughs> Maybe. But with your paranoia, I think a few friendly faces wouldn't hurt. Who says I'm paranoid? <laughs> no one, dear. No one. I'll leave you be. But, uh, fair warning. These trips can be awfully boring. With no end in sight. Try as they might, the local huntsmen and huntresses can't seem to get a hold of the situation at Beacon Academy. Though the fail-safes have supported wireless communication within the kingdom, the loss of the CCT tower continues to prevent contact with the outside world. Talks with Atlas officials regarding repairs have so far... The Vale Council voted this week to continue to ban any air traffic that does not have a direct correlation with evacuation. Council has made it clear that they feel... That Multiple rumors continue to circulate as to who was behind the attacks at the Vital Festival tournament. While no one knows for sure, officials have confirmed that high-ranking White Fang member Adam Torres was present for the attack, 
Any and all attempts to bring him into custody have been met with brutal force. I'm home! Hey, Dad. Guess what came in today? What? I can't wait for you to try this. You and you only. Brand new, state-of-the-art Atlas tech. You know, I thought I was gonna have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you earned this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. For you. He wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. Well, if you're gonna try it on? I, uh, I'm not feeling too great right now. Maybe later? <sighs> well, all right. Thanks, Dad. I saw you run off. The night Beacon Tower fell. Once we landed in Vale, you made sure everyone was okay, and then you just took off without saying anything. I had to. You wouldn't understand. No, I get it. The moment you left, I knew exactly what you were doing. You're going on a one-woman rampage against the White Fang! What? You've always felt like the Fang was your fight. They show up, trash your school, hurt your friends. It makes perfect sense. I can't believe you. But there's no way I'm letting you do this alone. It's an honorable approach for sure, but you're gonna need someone watching your back. And that's where I come in. Us fun has gotta stick together after all. You're wrong, son. You're so, so wrong. What are you? I'm not going anywhere near the White Fang. Not yet. Seriously? I need to sort some things out. Then why not do it with your team? Your friends? You're one to talk. Assuming Neptune's stage and Scarlet aren't hiding below deck. You really think I could get Neptune on the ocean? They flew back to Mistral. I told them I'd catch up. Not the first time I left them to take a boat. So, if you're not going after the White Fang, where are you going? Home to Menagerie. Is it always so cramped? Well, when you try and take an entire species and put them on an island that's two thirds desert, yeah, it tends to be cramped. What? You guys have that much more space? Why waste it? A little desert never hurt anyone. It's not like the desert in Vacuo, son. The wildlife here is more dangerous than most other regions. 
So they gave us a terrible island in the corner of Remnant to try and shut us up. That's a pretty good summary, yeah. Huh. Jerks. We tried to make the best of things. Whoa. This is Cool Kawana. It's beautiful. I take it all back. This place looks great. Why would anyone ever want to leave? That's not the point, son. We asked to be equal, to be treated just like everyone else. Instead, we were given an island and told to make do. So we did the best we could. We came together and we made a home where any faunas could feel welcome. But this island, this town, will always be a reminder that we're still not equal. That we're still second-class citizens. Well, hey. This guy's feeling pretty at home. <sighs> All right. Time to go home. Oh, yeah? Which one's yours? Can you see it from here? Kind of. Is it that one? What about that tiny one down there? I like the paint job. It's... that one. What is it? I, um... It's just been a long time since I've seen my parents. Well, you came all this way. <sighs> okay, if we're being honest, that's kind of intimidating. Blake? Hi, Mom. My baby girl. As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, <laughs> well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. You jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Are we finally talking about the Goliath in the room? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Miss Shaola... Yang, if you don't mind me asking, why haven't you tried on the arm yet? Oh, yes, yes. A piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. I'm... scared. 
Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal. And I appreciate it. But... This... Is normal now. It's just taking me a while to get used to it. Well, normal is what you make of it. What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone, and it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. You're Yang Xiao Long, my sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. Okay, let's get started. Uh, uh, hey, Dad. Blake! Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I... Please, come sit. Don't worry, I've got it. Sit down, sit down. I don't want to keep you if you're... Nonsense. I've been cooped up in here all day. You still take sugar, right? Oh, actually, uh... Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. Oh, here. Take this one. No, really. It's... It's no big deal. You sure? Positive. <laughs> Old habits, I suppose. <laughs> Might want to let it cool. Right. So, is it uh, warm in Vale? Huh? It just seems like your outfit doesn't cover very much. It covers plenty. I mean, a little more armor might help, don't you think? I'm fine. I don't need armor. I can look after myself. I... <sighs> I know you can. I'm sorry. Why? Hmm? Why would you say that? Sweetheart, what's wrong? What did I say? How can you still love me after what I did? Blake. Your mother and I will always love you. You were right. I shouted at you and yelled at you, but you were right. I called you cowards. It's okay. I should have left the White Fang with you and Mom. I should have listened to you and I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Blake, it's fine. We never held anything against you. And I never feared you would fail. The only thing I ever feared was that you would fall down the wrong path. And I am so proud to see you haven't. But I did. It was... And you pulled yourself out. You came back. There aren't many who possess that kind of strength. And even fewer that have the courage to face their demons again. Vale, Mountain Glen, Beacon. You confronted the White Fang time after time. I didn't do it alone. No, you didn't. <laughs> well, that thing packs a punch. We've been at this for weeks. I get it. 
You want to make sure I can still fight? I think I'm doing just fine. You're close. Oh, really? You're still off balance. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I am kind of surprised. I thought it would just be this huge weight, but it feels natural. They did a great job with this thing. I wasn't talking about your actual balance. Although, that could use some work too. Meaning? I saw your tournament fights during the Vital Festival. Let me guess. I was sloppy. No, no. You were predictable. And stubborn. And maybe a little boneheaded. Do you realize that you used your semblance to win every fight after the qualifiers? So what? How is me using my semblance any different than someone else using theirs? Because not everyone else's is basically a temper tantrum. <laughs> I'm serious. Once you take damage, you can dish it back twice as hard, but that doesn't make you invincible. It's great when you're in a bind, but what happens if you miss? What happens if they're stronger? What then? Now you're just weak and tired. You've always been one to burn brighter than everyone else whether it was with your smile or, well, I remember your first haircut. <laughs> but you gotta keep your emotions in check. Keep a level head and think before you act. Your semblance is a great fallback, but you can't let yourself rely on it. It won't always save you, obviously. You definitely have your mom's stubbornness. Oh, so now we could talk about her? Well, as I have been informed, you're an adult now, remember? Well, sorry I remind you of her. Don't be. Raven was great in so many ways. Her strength, her ambition, her dedication to whatever cause she thought was worth fighting for. I'm proud of how much of her I see in you. But I'm glad I don't see all of her in you. Why? <sighs> Your mother was a complicated woman. Like everybody, she had her faults, but those faults are what tore our team apart. And they did a real number on our family. You both act like the easiest way to tackle an obstacle is through it. That strength is all that matters in a fight. But if you just take a second look, then maybe you see there's a way around as well. Come on. One more before dinner. Blake? This is why, son. This is why I left them all behind. What are you... Wait. Where am I? 
I am done seeing my friends hurt because of me. Blake. Shut up. Do you think I like being alone? Every day, every day I think about them. Ruby, Weiss, Yang. They were my friends. I love them like I never thought I could love anybody. And I hope they hate me for leaving. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Everyone thinks they can help me, but they can't. You saw Ilya last night, and she is not even the worst. No. No more. They're better off without me. I made my choices, and I'll deal with the consequences, because they belong to me. You think you're being selfless, but you're not. Yeah. That chameleon friend of yours got me pretty good. But I'd do it all again if I'm in protecting you. And I can promise Yang would say the same. You can make your own choices, sure. But you don't get to make ours. When your friends fight for you, it's because we want to. So stop pushing us out. That hurts more than anything the bad guys could ever do to us. remember saying that you were ready. Oh yeah? You gonna try and stop me? <laughs> no. I think I'm still too sore after our last fight. I just wanted a better goodbye than a letter. And I also have a question for you. Where are you going? What do you mean? Well, despite asking him numerous times not to, I know that Crow told you where your mother's been at these days. I know how much you want to see her. I've stopped you in the past, and I won't anymore. And we both read the note. We know your sister is headed to Mistral. So, where? Are you going? It's scary, not knowing what's going to happen next. And the things we do know now, just how bad it can get, it almost makes it all worse. You told me once that Bad things just happen. You were angry when you said it, and I didn't want to listen. But you were right. We'd never have the strength to change. Whether it's ourselves, or the world around us. And we'd never be there for other people who might one day be lost without us. How much further, pal? This should just about do it. You wait here. I'll go up ahead and make sure the coast is clear.
<laughs> I can't believe you were dumb enough to let me lead you here. Is this everyone? <laughs> yes, little lady. This is it. Well, unless you count the whole rest of the camp back that way. That way. Huh? Yes, that way. Good to know. Thanks. Now to pay me back for this tooth, we're gonna take your bike, and you're gonna take your lumps. You got the jump on me last time, sweetheart. You really ought to think twice about fighting all... <sighs> all right. Get her! Raven finds out what you did, you're dead. Possibly, but I doubt it. I'm her daughter, after all. I'm dead. Mom. Yang. So, after all this time, you finally decided to visit me. You know that I searched for you. I spent years looking for you. And you found me. You were patient, determined, and strong enough to make your dream a reality. Well done, Yang. But did you have to be so rough with my men? I didn't want a fight. They started it. Well, you certainly finished it. Right. I'm sure this is all very overwhelming, but I must admit that you've proven yourself. So any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. You can stay with us tonight. I'll even have the cooks whip up something for you. That's not why I'm here. What was that? I'm not here for you. Ruby is somewhere in Mistral. She's with Crow and she's going to need my help. I just need you to take me to her. And why would I do that? Because we're family. Family. You can go back to Crow and join Ozpin's impossible war against Salem. And meet the same fate as so many others. But can you really go back to trusting someone that's kept so much from you? All I care about is making sure my sister is safe. Adam, he's the guy you used to work with? Yes. Sorry, forget I brought it up. No, it's okay. Have you ever met someone and thought to yourself, they are the personification of this word? Uh... Okay, well, I remember getting to know Ruby and thinking, this girl is the embodiment of purity. After a while, I saw Weiss was defiance. 
and Yang was strength. At first I thought Adam was justice. Then I thought he was passion. But over time I realized I was wrong. He wasn't any of those things. He was spite. Not hatred, not rage, spite. He won't accept equality, only suffering for what he feels the world did to him. I can't believe we're actually in Mistral. That's what you can't believe? Well, yeah, and all the other magic and stuff, but okay, you know what I mean. I honestly wasn't sure if I'd ever see you two again. Well, here's to defying expectations. I just wish Blake could be here with us. Yeah, well, she made her choice. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. It's no big deal, though. We'll be fine. Don't you want her here? Why would I want her here? Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby. No, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Whoa, Yang. Whatever. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Why do you think she did that? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? What if I needed her here for me? I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. If she comes back. She will. Yuma, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Let's go, traitor. Now! Huh? <laughs> Watch! <laughs> 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 Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Stop lecturing me! Because I run away too much. <gasps> Sorry, Dad. Quit taking pot shots and fight! 
refused to see things the way I did. The way Adam did. If no one's going to do anything to stop the humans that attack us, then the only choice we have left is to attack back! You're wrong. There's always another choice. Ilya, please. You're a good person, but you're making all the wrong decisions. Shut up! Is this really what your parents would have wanted? I don't know what else to do! I don't know what else to do. Blake! Humans didn't do this. We did this. Faunus. We did this to ourselves. We are just as capable of hate and violence as the humans, but I don't think any of us would jump at the chance to point that out. So why are we letting Adam do it for us? By doing nothing and staying silent, we let others speak and act in our place. And if we're not proud of the choices they make, then we have no one to blame but ourselves. This is the message Adam Taurus will bring to the world if no one stops him. But we can stop him. You have to understand that all of you are looking for simple answers to a very complicated problem. And I can't give that to you. I don't know how to make hate go away. I don't. But I know that this kind of violence is not the solution. I understand that to ask you to leave your homes and protect Haven Academy is asking you to put your lives at risk. But that's what's at stake. So I'm going. And I'll stand by myself if I have to. I'll stand with you. Stay focused. Our friends are almost done here. Adam! Blake? Who is that? Stand down! Wait! <laughs> to think that I went through so much trouble to find you, only to have you deliver yourself to me. This isn't what's right for the Faunus. Stop what you're doing and we can end this peacefully. You're wrong, Blake. And you can't stop us. No, I can't. Not by myself. That's why she didn't come alone. What? Who's there? Your brothers and sisters. Mata? Please, stop this. Make no mistake, brothers. These are our enemies, and we will not let them ruin. It's over. And it's over for all of us. Hey, wait! 
What are you doing? Trying to get us all killed? I am making humanity pay for what they've done! We sent someone over to confirm your explosives. And once we did, she disarmed them. What do we do? This is your business, not mine. Fix it. I told you, Adam. It's over. I'm going to make you regret ever coming back. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. <laughs> Still too afraid to face me on your own. I'm here for Haven, not you. Huh? <laughs> you are still afraid, and you should be. I've made powerful friends while you've been away. Oh yeah? Where? Tell me, does Blake make all of her classmates fight for her? Nah, it's a volunteer gig. I'm just saying, for someone who claims to have such great friends, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight for you. You can try and make me regret coming here, Adam. But honestly, I've got more important things to deal with. Son, wait! But he's getting away! We could take him! No, we can't. He wants to lure us away so he can pick us off. We need to protect the school and the people here. Besides, now he can see what it feels like to run away. Thank you. Eh, we all need help sometimes. I think there's a few people who could use yours. Be careful. No promises. It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated, but she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! You don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who do 
you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah, I'm scared. But I'm still standing here. I'm not like you. I won't run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after me. And I'll be standing there, waiting for her. You don't want to do this, Yang. Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> what happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Raven? Gone. Well... We're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Uh, are you okay? I feel like I should be asking you guys. So, Blake, what are you doing here? I... I was gonna ask you three the same thing. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's all that matters. <laughs> that we're all here together. Right? You're lost, you found, your heart to pin down. Yeah. I never know if you'll come through. Then you appear. You're with who you're supposed to be now. Son, I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I'm still, um... You're still working a lot of things out. I know. But you can do it with them. Who wants to play video games? I mean, if you want me to kick your butt, yeah, sure. Let me grab my scroll. Here, let me help you with that. Blake. You don't have to do that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. We're gonna be fine. It's just gonna be a bit before things are back to normal. But... I am glad we're all back together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you. 
see you're not rusty. I'll do another sweep of the grounds. No one else goes anywhere alone. Yang and I can search the other buildings for vehicles. Fine. Whatever gets me out of this house. Something tells me that's not street legal. What do you think happened here? There's that well in the square. Maybe water contamination? Yeah, maybe. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, no. But, I don't know. I'm just tired. Yeah. Hey, I found something. <gasps> what is it? I... <sighs> I was just seeing things. I'm sorry. I still get flashes from that night. Do you think Adam's still out there? I don't know. If he went back to the White Fang, there would have been serious consequences. But he never really liked people telling him what to do. Adam's strong, but his real power comes from control. He used to get in my head, make me feel small. But now I see he just wanted to pull me down to his size. Hey, I'm not leaving. And if we ever see him again, I promise I'll be there. I'll protect you. What? What? Forget it. Let's just head back. But what about- We're fine. We can hook that flap it up to Bumblebee in the morning. Should carry everyone. Mission accomplished. We're back in the house? Uncle Crow, get up! Hey, get off me. What are you doing here? We're leaving, you idiot. Come on! <sighs> I'm sorry for what I said. About giving up. Me too. We can't quit until the lamp is safe. It's not your fault. It was those things. The second Weiss is out of range of the comm tower, that'll mean she's out of range of the radar too. And that's when Blake steps in. We're almost at the drop off. Okay, remember, one, the radar box is separate from the rest of the communications equipment. So if you disconnect it properly, it won't take out comms for the rest of the city. Two, this conversation never happened. Don't worry. This isn't the first time I've disabled Atlas security. Never 
happened. You sure I shouldn't come with? More intruders means we're more likely to be seen. Besides, stealth isn't exactly your, um... I mean, you're great, and I'll hurry back. Go. Heading in on foot? Won't be long. All right, guys, this is it. Blake, you're up. Blake? I don't know. Why is the radar up? We don't know. Blitz is in funding. <gasps> it's nice to finally have time to ourselves, don't you think? Leave me alone! But I've waited so long for you to be away from them. Why did you have to come into my life and ruin everything? You stalked me across Anima. I don't want anything to do with your life. Adam. Do it for yourself. Just forget it all. Is that what you did to me? You just threw our memories away? Adam! I let you go once already, Blake. I'm never making that mistake again. People hurt me long before we met. All sorts of people in all sorts of ways. But no one hurt me quite like you. You didn't leave scars. You just left me alone. So, tell me, Blake. How does it feel to be alone?
I'm not alone. your breath for a second. I could hold him off. She's right, Blake. It's okay. We have unfinished business. alone. This is your last chance. <laughs> Do you really believe that? Or are you just trying to scare me away so you won't have to die trying to protect her? She's not protecting me, Adam. And I'm not protecting her. We're protecting each other. You knew you couldn't win two on one at Haven. What makes you so sure you can win now? I don't have a choice. I have people who actually care about me. And I promised I'd never leave them again. So I'm not dying now. You know, she made a promise to me once, that she'd always be at my side. <laughs> and look how well she's kept it. Did she make that promise to you? Or to the person you were pretending to be? So I just wasn't good enough for you. You know it's so much more than that. I know you've made your choice. And I've made mine. Yang, do you think you're faster than you were at Beacon? <laughs> Me neither. Your aura's bound to be running low. Already. What does she even see in you? You're just a coward like her. Not 
be faster. But I'm smarter. No! I'm not gonna break my promise. I swear. I know you won't. I'm so sorry. Don't be. This isn't on you. But you're safe. That's all that matters. I'm sorry you went through that nightmare, but I'm glad Yang was there for you in time. We were there for each other. new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. I want an update if you encounter the target. Alpha out. Huh? Uh, sorry. Just not used to the new hair yet. Is it bad? No! No! It's good! Great even! There's been a cave-in in the main entrance. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Understood. Let us know if you need anything. You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. about branching out a little? You always pair up, but I don't know if your style's really... Really, really good stuff. Yeah, keep it up. We 
still have hours ahead of us, but as votes come in, it looks more and more certain that Robin Hill will fill the open council seat. There's no way my father could have thought layoffs would do anything but hurt him. So why announce this the day before the election? Just seems like a power play that backfired to me. Won't matter in a few hours, though. Well, where are you guys going? Team Funky invited us out dancing. Yang and I thought it would be good to get our minds off the election. I thought you said Team Funky was annoying. That's the best part about dance clubs. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Invite's still open if you want in. Penny's going to be working security. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. You got to do it like this. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Oscar and I are hitting the movies if anyone wants yep. to. Oh, okay. I am so glad you made it. It's just Mero and I tonight, so more friends means more fun. Where are the others? Weiss is out with the boys, and Wick and Yang are off doing their own thing. Again. At least they're back to being friends. Friends, huh? Jazz friends. What else would they be? Two people who've gone through that much? I think there's more going on. Well, maybe one of them feels that way, but the other might be worried. About what? It's just, there's a lot of things going on right now. Well, how can they figure things out? I believe I may be confused. Who are we talking about again? I'm not really sure. Looks like we're approaching 51st. Thanks again for the assist on this, you two. Now we may all be split between different trucks, but we need to be ready to act as one in case Robin's team takes the bait. If your truck is hit, pursue immediately. Everyone else will move in as fast as possible. Going radio silent. Over. Do you... <laughs> Do you think we should have told Ironwood about Salem? Before he put so much on the line for Amity? Sounds like you do. I trust Ruby, but I think he deserves to know what he's stepping into. We all did. You don't agree. Look around. The embargo, the military presence, the restrictions on assembly. He's a bit prone to overreacting. Yeah, hard to argue with that. Still, he didn't have a lot of good options. I'm not sure there are many good options left for any of us anymore. Keeping secrets? Taking lives? It makes you wonder how far we're going to have to go to keep doing the right thing. Blake. We did what we had to do. I know. But next time, I want to make sure we don't have to. And I can tell you, Ambushing a Huntress who's just trying to help isn't an option I'm thrilled about choosing. Then maybe we shouldn't. Robin! Scramble! No, wait! Split up and regroup at the hideout! We just want to... If Ironwood wants me, he'll have to send more than a couple of kids. He is. Stopping the trucks alerted the Aesops. We don't have long before they arrive, so please listen to us. You need to know the truth. Ugh, you're stalling! Amity Coliseum, all these supplies, they're for... They're for a new communications tower. That doesn't make any sense. A new tower means the kingdom's I know finally... what the tower means, fisticuffs. One of you take my hand. What? You said time is short. Either take it, or I'm gone. Tell me again, what is Ironwood building out in the tundra? A new communications tower. He's trying to help everyone. You're telling the truth. 
handy semblance. Why keep that a secret? Because he doesn't know who he can trust. Atlas isn't out to get anybody. The people murdering civilians in Mantle are just trying to make it look that way. And if those same people learned about Amity, they'd do everything in their power to destroy it. So who are they? Who's actually behind this? Yang, Blake, where are you? We can't tell you that part yet. Bullshit! Look, we are trusting you. So trust us when we say that Amity Tower needs to stay a secret until it's done. We just need a little more time. Run! We'll throw them off! I won't stop until I know the whole truth. Can you block his access? It's too late. He's already starting to lock us out. Can we trace him somehow? Find out where he's hiding? He's going to be mobile. We need his access point. We need to get him out in the open. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yep. Still here, everyone. How do a disgraced scientist and disappeared serial killer find each other, General? Why would they target you? And why are you working so hard to hide the Amity Communications Tower from them? You know? Shelters are gonna fill up soon. They're all we've got. We just have to hold off the Grim. was Cinder. She's alive? And she's here? <sighs> if Cinder's here, then for all we know, Hazel's here too. Sir, this isn't over yet. We're with you. Are you with me? Sir? How did Robin know about the Global Communications Project? Huh? We told her. The night of the ambush. You did what? We were trying to help. By going behind our backs? Wait. Does that mean you let her escape? Robin is on our side. She always has been. We didn't know that for sure. None of this matters right now! Loyalty always matters! <gasps> General Ironwood. If we harness the power of the staff and raise ourselves high into the atmosphere, the city's artificial climate will keep citizens and food supplies unharmed always out of reach of whatever Salem may try to send our way. But we're nowhere near finished evacuating everyone. You'd be leaving Mantle to die. Yes, I would. We can't allow Salem to capture the relics. 
This is our best chance at getting the staff, the lamp, and the maiden as far away from her as possible. But we have an opportunity to reunite the world. If we launch the tower, we can all work together again. We could even call for help. If we can hold out long enough... Sometimes doing the right thing means making tough decisions. You're right. And I think the right thing to do would be to stand our ground. Me too. Me too. Me too. We ran ourselves ragged trying to save Mantle tonight. We try that again against an even larger force. But you're huntsmen and huntresses! You can't just back down from a fight! You can't focus on one single fight while trying to win a war. What's the council going to say? Nothing. Once I declare martial law. No. Oh, what about Robin? Who exactly are you loyal to? We're loyal to the people counting on us to save them! We are saving who we can. And you're standing in our way. It's John! We've got a serious problem! I'm sorry it's come to this. But until Atlas and the relics are safe, you are all under arrest. We won't just let you take us. I know. Please, think about what you're doing. You heard the general. Until this is sorted out, you're under arrest. Really? Please, don't make this difficult. Don't make us have to get out of here by force. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not actually going to slug this out, are we? We're not doing anything. They decide what happens next. You think you're going to stop us. <laughs> we're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. Peacefully, we won't hurt you. Speak for yourself! They betrayed us! You're betraying the people you've sworn to protect! <laughs> it's not worth it, Blake. They're just following orders now. up fine. They've had their chance. Don't be soft. Are you telling me? Or yourself? for the others. But our scrolls don't... Huh? Oh. This is the part where they ask us to help. Hello? Anybody there? Can you hear me? Our scrolls? Doctor! <laughs> Finest mind in Atlas! Maria! What are you doing? Grabbing our getaway ship. We need to hightail it out of here. Where are you? The academy training room. We slipped away from some soldiers, but it won't be long before the- They're here! 
Where's Oscar? And the relic. And as more people depend on you, those fears can take on greater power. We need to get out there and do what we can for Mantle. We need to do what we can for everyone. What about Amity? And telling the world about Salem? We can't do this alone. We need help. Ruby's right. The Happy Huntresses are handling the evacuation better than we could. And there's a bigger picture. Do what you gotta do. I'm going out there to see what I could do. This way. Ruby? I hope everyone's doing all right. If you're worried about Yang, you could always try calling her. Well, that's the thing. I did. I repeat, if anybody can hear me. We need transport back to Mantle. Do you think she thinks less of me? for not helping out with Amity. Ruby is your sister. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. Ruby. <sighs> I need to get some sleep, but I can't stop thinking about Oscar. Go on. I'll make sure Ren doesn't brood himself to death out in the cold. Hopefully May's able to reach the others. I'm... I really hope they're okay. Salem's monster is making Grimm faster than the Atlas military can kill them. The city won't stand a chance unless we stop it. It's massive. Way bigger than a Leviathan. What can we even do? Penny launched Amity, and our message went out. Do we just wait for someone to come? If they even come. Of you. 
And who is it I've taken from you, girl? Summer Rose! My mom! Hmm. Her again? <laughs> I could hear you. Is everyone there all right? We're alive. This'll help, though. Yeah. Guys! They're okay! What do we do about her? <laughs> Hazel? I'm sending you a map. You're in the agricultural area. Just head to this access point to reach the Red Line subway tunnel. Then follow the route I've drawn for you. Got it. We'll see you soon. is getting Penny and the staff to back you up. Until then, we have to trust the others. I'm sure they can handle it. We should end up just outside the city limits of Bakuo. Enough space for refugees, but still within range of communication. All right, I'll focus on masking emotions for as long as I can. Call for help as soon as we cross. Head down and follow everyone else to the exit.
You really think it's around here somewhere? I wouldn't exactly say I'm certain about anything at the moment. Gamble Shroud fell after you and Ruby, but before I did. And we found each other, so... What is this place? I don't know. None of my guesses really make sense. Blake... I'm really glad you're okay. I'm really glad you are too. And if we are, then that means Yang and Ruby might be. We understand. If we could ask, have you seen anyone else who looks like us? Long, blonde hair, looks kind of scary, but isn't. But could be if she wanted to. <laughs> Thanks anyway. At least they got us to this path. We need to hurry. Yang's been down here the longest, and we still haven't found her. I just... What happened to your arm? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Why not? You seem trustworthy. Uh, Ruby? What is that? <gasps> Yang. I was knocked out from the fall. When I came to, that sneaky raccoon had already grabbed my arm and ran off before I could stop him. <laughs> so would you say he caught you unarmed? How disarming. I guess we'll have to catch this. About thing. time. Yeah. <laughs> for what? How for Nothing. <laughs> there it is. So what's the strategy? Just start roughing them up or what? In the book, Alex had to barter with Jinxie for her dagger. Yeah, I think I'd rather hit him. I don't see my arm. All of Jinxie's treasures are just other items in disguise, so that people think they're buying something extremely valuable. Okay. So, which one is Yang's arm? What does your heart tell you? That's how Alex knew. I mean, that one looks roughly arm-sized-ish. Second item! A golden scepter! Me? Me? Huh? The bidding starts at... No, I was the first one to... Knowing what it is to feel loved. <gasps> A fair price for some, I'd say. Knowing what it's like to feel loved by royal decree. Sold! Wait, that's my Wait. arm! Whatever it is, it's royal property now. No price is too high for his majesty's birthday. Straight up, the Jade <sighs> We tried it your way, Blake. <laughs> no! It's a fake! Hmm. <laughs> I'm going for it! <laughs> I got it! Ruby, come on! Yang, you're up. All over it! Who are these people? Incredible. Blake, your turn. Get the 
Give up already. We won't. Kick their wooden butts! Oh! We're the king of the castle now. I'm taking control of the fortune. about it's simple really you could just be human or just a cat if you wanted really it's up to you why would I do that like I said it's simple much simpler than trying to be a bridge between humans and faunus why struggle with that responsibility to be something simpler to be whole again no. My losses, my failures, those more than anything are what have shaped me into who I am. Showed me how I need to grow. If there's something I'm missing, it's not because I've lost it. It's because I haven't found it yet. And the only way to do that is to keep going. A simple life wouldn't be my life. My family, my friends, my culture. I belong to them just as much as they belong to me. To give that all away wouldn't be simplicity. It would be betrayal. You retrieve that while I go get the rest. Uh, sure, I, I guess so. Wonderful. Look for the teapot, lady. She'll have it. Now off you go. Ooh. <laughs> guess I'd better go with the cat so they don't get distracted by a shiny doorknob and never come back. I'll go with you. Woohoo! A festival! Dabberwalker! It's a Dabberwalker! Or not. Neo? Huh? What? There's only supposed to be one! Welcome to a thunderstorm. A, uh, weather pattern that creates a physical manifestation of a mental or emotional problem. So, we appear to be at a metaphorical and literal crossroads. How perfectly, stupidly ever after it. This place really is the pits. The only way out is to resolve the problem or wait until the storm passes. Let's just get moving. <sighs> okay, I asked for that. Where's Yang? And Blake? Must have had something bigger to work out. Do we take the next step? You all right? I'll feel a lot better when we're together on that platform. Uh, is it a password or something? Together! Platform! 
No luck? I'm sure you'll figure it out, though. You're good at that. You think so? Well, yeah. You've got a really good brain. <laughs> okay, that did something. Uh, I talked about you, so... <clears throat> you have cat ears! I think your cat ears are cute. Nailed it! Even though I don't know what it is yet. Maybe it's saying things we never said to each other. I think you're an extraordinary person. You're always the first to lighten a situation. You act bravely when you're afraid. You do what you say. Try to keep up. I like that you've never been intimidated by me. Even when you didn't like me all that much. I was a little wary of people in general. But you never gave up on them, even when they hurt you. You never give up. You know what matters to you. Let's make this quicker. Any big truths we haven't dropped on each other yet? Did you just think of something that didn't say it? That can't be what this is about. It's like... A cliff. And if I do it, I'm just going to fall. I think we're already falling. Just say it, Yang. I think I love you. I love you too. Did we miss anything? Feels like I've been waiting forever for that. <laughs> Come on. Letting them down. If those walkers make it down here, those Afterins will never ascend. Then we won't run this time.
no, no! I needed her! Take us to her. You still don't get it, do you? It's not a place you go, it's a place you know. But no matter. I've actually found a much better solution to my problem. opened for Alex at the tree. Before she went back home, the girl had a great many questions to ponder. After all the lessons she'd learned and the friends she'd made and lost, who had she become? Would she still be the same Alex when she went back home? The leaves of the tree rustled and on the wind, Alex heard one more question. What are you? It's not a place you go. What? It's a place you know. can. Now it's up to Ruby. Whatever happens next, we have to welcome that. But what if she isn't Ruby anymore when she comes back out?
balance is not two forces locked in never-ending battle. Balance is an ecosystem, an organism, a living, breathing thing. Thus, balance cannot be restored with force or calculation. True balance finds its own equilibrium. It only requires love and the patience to see things through to the end. So, how did they get to Remnant? Where will this take us? Not where. 